What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so we took another part out of this whole route right here, and now it is time for us to go up north right here, and that is Route 119. Hello, hello. We are filling up that map right there, and... Well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. In our last episode, we actually used Latios on our team. And now, we're just gonna go with the Desert Storm right here, because it still needs to evolve, god dang it. So, let's go right ahead and heal up the uh, Pokemon here and there, because I really want to go in uh, all full strength and everything. Not the PP up. Let's go with a Super Potion right here. There we go. Sage of the Halo. Healthy as always again. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on somebody. Just no good. When I ride my bike in the tall grass, nobody can see my coolness. Well, you can't really ride your bike in this tall grass right here, so that's a shame. Now, you will be finding some trainers, and you will be finding some uh, some good Pokemon right here. One Pokemon is uh, Tropius, I think. That's what it is. All right, let's go ahead and battle this guy. You don't know who I am, do you? Well... I don't know you either, so let's just battle anyways. It's a good way of putting it right there. So here we go, guys, another Pokemon battle. And it's against Greg the Bug Catcher, and he will be coming out with his beautiful eye. Not so beautiful, beautiful eye. And here we go, Desert Store. Okay, so right now, it's probably not the best choice. Probably because it's not fast enough. But it does have Rock Slide, it just learned it in the last episode. So let's get it. Ah, crud. So there we go. We're we're in love now. God dang it! How can you be in love? And rock slide. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Desert storm, kicking ass just like a regular ant. Look at that. And hello, level 34. I don't think it evolves at level 34, but it is god dang slow. And he's like, you're pretty sure strong, aren't you? Yes, sir, I am. Very strong. Okay, so it doesn't evolve right there. And. Let's let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon now. You know what? Screw it. Let's go with Latios some more. I don't want to use them up before we have to switch them out. Trust me, guys. We're not using them on our whole on our whole walkthrough right here. The Mimic Circle was formed by people who like to mimic. Hey, battle starts the instant we meet. Okay. Whatever you say, homeboy. So here we go. Catcher, Bug Catcher, Kent would like to battle, and he will be coming out with his Dust Talks right here. And that Pokemon looks all scary and everything, but here we have Latios. If you guys are wondering how I got this guy, well, you know, go ahead to check two, three episodes ago. Yeah, we got a Mega Ring and all that stuff. We can actually Mega Evolve it right now if we wanted to. But I do not do it. Oh god, look at that. We get. Oh, I thought we were gonna get poison right there. So here we go. Bam. Oh yes. And Dust Tox. Takes another kick right there getting more points and we're getting another victor right there he's like i surrender that's right you do surrender okay so let's see we're gonna be battling quite a few trainers i guess share the wealth right share the freaking wealth and let's see is there anybody here yes there's gonna be somebody right there there's actually two people this guy keeps on moving away and there he is yep you finally caught me or were you just trying to avoid me I think I was trying to avoid you. You know what? I'm a very distant person. I'm trying to do this whole social distancing thing. And here we go. Doug wants the battle. Doug, 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 Bam! Rating grows to level 38. Close to getting to level 40 club. And he's gonna come out with the Lumi or Illumise or Illumizi or something. Illumizi. Illumizi. I don't even know. Eventually I'm gonna put it up right here on that post. And bam. Look at that. Defeated. Oh uh, yes. Oh uh, yeah. And of course, Hydro grows to level 44. It's trying to learn Hydro Pump, but I am not going to teach it because it's a very inaccurate move. Granted, it is very power powerful. But no worries, I can actually teach that move to any Pokemon. Or I can teach it, reteach it to this poor guy by the relearner. The move relearner, that's what his name is. And all we need is just a hard scale, so pretty good. Very, very good. 
So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go back to Desert Storm, finish this guy off, and continue our adventure right here by getting attacked by a Pokemon. Oh god. And here we are getting attacked by a horde of Oddishes. Now, I would like to say that, you know, messing with a horde of Onyx or a horde of Pokemon. Oh crap, can't get away. Can't get away, god dang it. And we're gonna get attacked by five Pokemon in a row. Ah, oh, jeez. Five acids. Ah, crud, here we go. Special defense goes. Sweet scent. That Onish wants to be that Onish. And here we go with another one. Come on. And an, uh, an absorb attack. Okay. Definitely didn't want that. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon because I just realized something. Desert Storm, its, it's speed is at 14 right now. It's not fast. It's not going to be faster than any of these guys. So I'm going to go with the Vesuvius. That's right. Go ahead. Absorb whatever you need. I got a little something waiting for your guys' asses. Okay, two. Here's three. Oh, crud. He was the more stronger of the, of the four. And there's four. Four absorbs attacks. Okay, don't be that guy. And yeah, he was that guy. Okay, so he is that guy. All right. Eat this Lava Plume. Oh, yes. Lava Plume for the win. Fatality. Oh, yeah. Suck on those lemons. All five of you. Okay, alrighty, and then Sage goes to level 44, that's good, okay, so we did something good right there. But we're gonna need a, uh, we're gonna need a repel, so let's see if we do have one. Let's see, oh yeah, we got plenty of super repels right here, so no more messing around with any other Pokemon right here. And uh, battle this guy. So we finally meet, my bug Pokemon, we'll keep you company. Okay. All right, and this guy looks like he's just like jerking off the bugs right here. So here he comes out with a beautiful eye, and we're gonna go with Desert Storm again. Another victim for Desert Storm. Although his speed is just horrible. Just horrible, and oh god, oh god, here we go. And right now, Desert, or Passerby Blitz wants to battle me. And I kinda don't wanna battle you anymore. Anyway. Sometimes I will get a passerby here and there that notices that, oh, Gym Leader Draven is actually doing something, but I'm not going to accept no trades nor, nor a battle for right now. And look at that. Latios throws to level 32 and is learning Recover. Let's see, what kind of a move? Eh, you know what? Heal Pulse will actually do. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. The recovery is right there. Okay. So let's get the heck out of here. I think we've gotten most of them. I don't need to battle everybody else. Or this guy is probably looking for somebody. Okay, so he is looking for someone. If you step forward, we step forward. If you step or turn right, we turn to. Okay. Bring it. So here we go. Another bug maniac. His name is Taylor. And he will be coming with his dust ox. Okay. So nothing but easy Pokemon to actually train. You're, you're, you're a desert storm right here. Okay, so, wow. Passerby Alan would like to trade with you. No thank you. Okay, here we go. And, ah, uh, crud. Silverwind, you gotta love it. Let's go. Rock Slide nearly beats this guy. And we're gonna be going with a Crunch attack right here, so. And another Desert Storm, or not. Another Silverwind, I should say. And here we go. Crunch attack, get it. Does it good. Big talenty on that guy. Alright, okay, and look at that. Desert Storm grows to level 35, so we're getting close to evolution right here. And many of you guys already know, that is a goal right there for my Pokemon right now. I don't want to get it to a dragon type Pokemon, even though we do have a dragon type on our team. And look at that! Okay, so it's evolving! Never mind. Good old Draven's a little fuzzy on the evolutions right now, so that's, uh, that's uh, okay, I guess, I don't know. And look at that, the evolution, the digivolution. And look at that, bam, vibraba. Oh, yes. And its speed has increased, and I guess it's learning a new move right now. Oh, yes, Dragon Breath. Okay, so let's go ahead and replace something right here. I do not want to take Earth Power, but then again, you got Earth Quick. 
Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and take away Earth Power. Yeah, it's okay. You know, we can always relearn, reteach, and all that stuff. So there we go. Dragon Breath for Desert Storm. And well, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna check what what kind of stats it does have now, because it used to have a 14 uh, base uh, speed right here. And it increased a lot now. Now it is at 56, so now it's very, very fast. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Okay, alrighty. All right, let's get the heck out of here. And of course, lagginess. Just a little bit of the lagginess. And let's see if we have to battle. Oh yes, we're gonna battle her. Oh, look at you. For some, in a, uh, for some on an adventure, you're traveling awfully light. Why would you say that? I don't know. Here we go, Pokemon Ranger Catherine from the Power Rangers. You know, Cat, the Power Ranger, who replaced my Kimberly. Yeah, that one. And here we go, first battle for De Desert Storm right here. And hopefully we do well. Uh, let's see. Let's go. And of course, he's going to come up with the Mock Punch, and bam, just like that. No more Desert Storm. Okay. I'm a little pissed now. You've awakened the beast. Here we go with Latios. Latios, use that Psycho Purge, or L Luster Purge, I should say. And what the fuck? I don't even know what that was, but here we go, Luster Purge. Bring in the light. Oh, yes. Freeloom has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay, so that was a good battle right there. Now we just gotta... Well, we gotta revive one of our Pokemon right here. So now let's go straight in here. And... Well, let's see. If you talk to this girl right here, she said, I heard that somewhere... Or, I heard that there's... Uh, somewhere, there's a, call, a cave called Cave of Origin. They say that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Could something like that really happen? Probably. I don't know. Pokemon are mysterious uh, beings. And yes, yeah, she will heal our Pokemon right here. There we go. So we don't we don't really need to use any of our equipment right there. So let's get the heck out of here. Now there's a good reason why there's a lot of uh, what was it Wingles right there. Now if you talk to this kid, watch. I thought I thought how you fly is by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging them somehow. But it turns out there's a there's an HM move called Fly. I don't know. In a way, my dream came true, uh, but I also feel like I lost my dream. It feels really strange. No, you kind of feel stupid. You kind of feel very, very stupid. And there is a Tropius nearby. I do not want to capture that guy right now, so let's go right ahead and continue on right here. We're going to just explore, 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 guys. And this guy, what does he have to say? He might have a water-type Pokemon here. So let's go straight for our grass-type. Let's go with Sage of the Halo. All right. You spoke to me. You want to challenge me? Sure, I'll try out Pokemon while I caught while surfing. Alrighty, here we go. Going up against Eugene, and he's coming out with that Carvana. Alrighty, okay. Get this. Easy destruction for this Carvana right here. Let's go. Leaf Blade for the win. Oh yeah, it's the most powerful attack right there in Arsenal. And there goes that Carvana, but of course, Rub Skin will kind of give me kind of like a small scratch right there. Just a little bit. And, well, let's see, he's going to be coming out with another Carvana. So let's just stay with our good old Pokemon, Sage of the Halo. And bring in the pain right here with Leaf Blade. Bam, bam, bam. See that? Triple damage. And of course, more Rub Skin, because why not? Of course, that is the Pokemon that we, we will get in that hatch. And here he comes out with a Feebas. Now, this Pokemon right here is a very, very tough Pokemon to find in this game right here. Because I'm assuming... Well, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, they usually land on a specific like a square near this area right here. And trust me, it all depends on a whole bunch of variants. Don't want to get into it. But I believe in Pokemon... Uh, Alpha Zapphire and Omega Ruby, it has to be at a specific time under the bridge. That could be it. C correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. So let's see. There is a secret base here, a new kind of secret base, and there's something fishy about this. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. And yes, we're going to be using another Repel because we don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon right here. And 
Well, we can't go through this area, so let's go back out of here and continue our adventure straight to the Weather Institute. So there we go, and away we go. Alrighty, so all that's done. All we need to do now is go through here, and this is the reason to want to ride an acro bike, because of places like this, now we can actually hop to side to side and actually get to spots that we couldn't get before. As you can see, this is a spot where you can find a secret base, uh, one or two, and a lot of people use this spot, and I kind of almost want to use it, but... Again, there's a lot more people here, and, well, there's another secret spot right here. I thought that we were going to actually find an item. So that is not... Well, that's over with, so let's go ahead and use the bike right here. And get the heck out of here. Alrighty, so let's see. Bike, and grab these berries right there. Let's see, right here. Hundu berries. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. We're gonna grab that one too. And look at that, Hondu berries again. Kinda sounds like a Honda. And of course, there's gonna be somebody in here. So let's see whose base is this. And this is Team Titans base. So Team Titans base, if you're watching my video, congratulations, I found your base. I will not battle you right now because you may have an asshole Pokemon that I can't beat, even though I do have Mega Evolution now. And I kinda wanna keep it fair, I really do. So. Congratulations, Team Titans base. And let's see. Well, we can't go right here, so let's go right ahead and... Actually, why in the hell did I do that? I don't even know. Okay, so let's see. Are we going to battle this guy? Can your Pokemon use the move Secret Power to make a secret base? Out of a big pile of grass? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I do have a secret power. So now, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's see. You know what, let's use both our Dragon-type Pokemon right now. Desert Storm and Latias, and let's see what happens. What is the end result of this whole thing right here? All right, so we're getting looked at, and let's see. All right, you're the first trainer we've met since we formed our team. We're Brains and Brawn. Get ready, because we're here. Here we come. Oh, you're the first trainer we've met since we teamed up. We're Brains and Brawn. We'll do our utmost. Okay, so that, that must be the, the Brains right there. Okay, let's go. Mutton Chops and Brainiac right here. And they're going to be coming up with some pretty cool Pokemon. Generation 1 Pokemon that we love. And we got ourselves some Generation 3 Pokemon. Legendary and Bad Breathy. And let's go with the Luster Purge onto this guy. And let's go with a Crunch Attack onto this guy. So yeah, we got the perfect combination. God dang it. Was it that a Reflect? Uh, okay, yeah. So here we go. Luster Purge. Stuck on those limits, Macho. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, alrighty, and well, here we go with the Crunch attack. Very physical attack, but it's also damning for him. And yeah, he survives. God dang. Okay, so let's see. This Psycho shift. Uh, okay, let's do that. And let's see with the Crunch attack. I yeah. So here comes a recover. He is recovering that big booty villain. Good god. And, okay, so I don't know what Psycho Shift does, but it is still something, right? So here we go, Grunge Attack defeats Kadabra. And no more. Okay, alrighty, and look at that. Latios growth to level 33, so it was probably a good idea that it came on on our team. And Desert Storm increasing its, uh, its, uh, its stuff ever so gently right there. So there we go, guys. Defeating everybody in sight. So now let us move on right here. We don't need to battle anybody else. And no, we don't need to repel just about yet. And let's see. Oh, Pokemon Ranger. So let's see. I'm afraid that it's going to be using a grass type. So let's go right ahead and burn people. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got? Do you use the detector mode on the decks now? Apparently, the more you encounter the same Pokemon, the better the search function will be. Its accurate search capability allows you to find rare Pokemon. They say you can find Pokemon with strange moves and rare abilities. Don't forget shinies. That's kind of how I found the, the... Well, that's kind of how I found the Golden Gyarados. Or not the Golden Gyarados, but the Golden Magikarp. I think that's what he was talking about. Uh, what was it called? Uh, chain... Chain Capturing or something like that. I think that's what it was called, yeah. 
And good god, I probably should have turned on the, the whole repel thing. And look at that. A wild Lanoon. Oh, here comes Vesuvius. The big old tanky Pokemon. Alrighty. Alright, so... Of course, we're gonna be the slower of the two Pokemon, and we're gonna get scratched. Oh, come on, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick, come on! Uh, you suck. Five times. You know what? I gotta be petty. I have to be petty. So eat this lava plume and crap. Uh, Jesus. Okay, so here we go. Lava plume explode all over his ass. Crap. But it got burned. It got burned. Alrighty. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna just try and escape here. God dang it. Come on, leave me alone. You asshole of Loon, leave me alone. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, so let's get the heck out of here and start battling some Pokemon trainers right here. And let's see, who has the knowledge and the technique for survival? Power Rangers do. That's who. I'm sorry, Pokemon Rangers. Even though I love my Power Rangers. That's right. Let's get it, Survivor. Let's go. Okay, so I got a, I got a good, uh, I got a good, uh, which one called question for all you guys right there. Now that it, it's popped up. Pick your favorite, uh, your favorite? Okay, so who? Okay, for me, I'm old school. I love my Generation 1 Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the original team. They are the best. I don't care what you guys say. You guys can go suck a lemon. But, my favorite Power Ranger of all time has to be, has to be Jason. Yes, I get it. Tommy's probably the better of the two, but Jason did beat him at one point. Remember that? And, well, I'm asking you guys right now, who, which, okay, so which one is your favorite, which one is your favorite Power Ranger? Doesn't matter what, you know, what generation it, it is. I will judge you if it's a uh, Ninja Storm or Mega Force. I will judge you for both of those. Or not Ninja Storm, but I mean, uh, Samurai. Super Samurai and Samurai. I will judge you for those two. And which one is your favorite Power Ranger? If you guys say Troy of Mega Force, I will definitely shit on you. Because that guy sucked. Badly. Exactly. So, comment down below, guys. Tell me which one you guys liked. For me, Jason was uh, the leader. He was the leader, the OG leader. I would follow him into battle, and whenever I would watch the Power Rangers every single time after school, BAM! He kind of felt like I was in the, in the actual uh, in the actual battle with him that he got me all pumped up and everything. And what's lost today in today's Power Rangers is, you know, the music. Like, the music that pumps you up. The kind of music they, that they, they play on the Power Rangers show, techno-y, rappy-ish kind of song and all that stuff. Yeah, it really does, yeah. Can't really get into the, the whole thing right there. So, yeah, again, comment down below, guys. Tell me which one is your favorite Power Ranger. Now, if you had to ask me who I had a crush, who do you guys think? I still have a crush on that woman. That's right. I'm talking to you, Amy Joe Johnson. You will forever be my favorite Pink Ranger. Forever be the first uh, crush I ever had. Still is the crush, and yes, I, I still to this day still wish you hadn't la left the Power Rangers. What the hell? broke my heart. It really did. It literally broke my heart, guys. <laughs> Alright, so let me see if I can get the heck out of here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at all this stuff right here. You're gonna, you're gonna find some Pokemon right here, guys. And some secret bases, but you're gonna find some items here, too, and there's somebody waiting for us. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Of course, Vesuvius is gonna be paralyzed. And let's go with Latios. Of course, it is a psychic type. Alrighty. Okay. Favorite season. Okay, so hold on. Favorite season of Power Rangers, okay? Favorite team? Mighty Morphin. Favorite Power Ranger? Jason. Favorite Pink Ranger? Mm-hmm. Kimberly. Favorite season? Oh, I got it. It's gonna have to be a tie between In Space and Time Force. Actually, In Space... What was the next one? Lost Galaxy and... Time for it. Those, it's gonna be a tie because every single one of those ones, it just had like a theme to the whole, the whole, uh, the, the story. Like it had a good quality story, and it brought a whole bunch of elements to every single one of them. Like let's just say in space, it brought. Technically, it was supposed to be the final, final episode or final season of my, of Power Rangers ever, and the 
the whole thing was finding the long lost sister, of course. Uh, the attention on the on who is the Red Ranger or what the Red Ranger should supposed to be, it comes straight from uh, in space. And then what else? Uh, trying to locate Zordon, and you know the final episode, of course, outstanding. Bolt and Skull manning up and leading a resistance. The Power Rangers finally defeating all evil and all that crud. crud. That right there was epic to me. And Lost Galaxy, of course, they continued that whole thing with uh, what was it? What it what it's me what it what it's meant to be a Red Ranger and all that stuff. And then you know fighting his brother. The Magna Defenders uh, storyline was pretty fucking epic. And then the final episode was even more epic because he just like defeated her ass. And then you got Time Force, which of course the Peak Ranger right there. Mm, 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 mm. Actually, she's. Oh god, man, I have like so many favorite Power Rangers and stuff. But yeah, she became the leader. And just the storyline there where, like, you know, they're trying to prevent time from changing and all that stuff. And then the final episodes. Always a, always the best one, too. And then the extra Power Ranger, which was uh, the Magna... Not the Magna Defender, the uh, Quantum Ranger. That one was right... That right there kind of had, like, a Goku-Vegeta kind of uh, dynamic. Because you got the Red Ranger, who's Goku. And then you got Vegeta as the Quantum Ranger. He always wanted to one-up him every single time. Came from nothing... Wanted to one of them. Not like Vegeta in a sense, but you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. So those are my three favorite ones. And of course, like I said, like I said, Mega Force and Super Samurai just trash. Trash. You guys already know why. So going back into the battle right here, after talking about Power Rangers and all that stuff, kicking everybody's ass ragged. Look at that. This guy's gonna avoid my moves, so let's go straight for another Luster Purge. And this guy coming with the wing attack. God dang it, come on. Okay, don't be... Don't be messed up, Swallow. Come on. Another double team. Did not miss? Come on. God dang it. Fuck you, Swallow. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Here's that aerial ace. I do have a move. Okay. And here we go. Dragon breath. Destroy the... Oh, crud. It didn't destroy him. Come on. Finish him off. Finish him off. God dang it. Fuck you, Swallow. Okay, if you're gonna beat me, you're gonna have to work for this shit right here. Look, here we go. Dragon Breath. Eat this. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Okay, look at that. Sage grows level 45 and is learning X Scissors. That's a very good bug type move. Hold on, let me take a look at this. Ah, very powerful. So, let's go ahead and give that in place of Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter's already done his, uh, his thing right there. Alrighty, okay. And look at that, Sage and Hydra both grow to level 45. Look at that. Two of my favorite Pokemon getting leveled up. Awesome. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. I think we're getting very, very close to where we need to be. And yeah, we're here. Okay, so here's the Weather Institute. And something's going on right now because these guys are like in the way and well we we need to take care of business now we really do so in the next episode guys we're gonna be going inside the weather institute taking care of what's going on there and then hopefully getting to fortree city pretty soon here so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time